Schools are also facing some challenges throughout this entire school year as virtual and uh, in-person learning has changed and continues to evolve. WCBI's Bobby Martinez takes a look at how administrators are handling all of these changes. This school year alone, but being able to adjust to any challenges presented to them has been key to keeping this school year up and running. This school year summarized in just a few words. Continuous change. It's been very interesting. But through it all, the focus has been safety for both students and teachers. So detailed planning during these unfamiliar times is crucial. We've been blessed. We have not had a major quarantine of any sort. The plan for Winston Academy heading into the school year was a traditional way of learning with the option of virtual hybrid and headmaster Paul Hale says the plans have not changed. We've been able to stay with our traditional. Uh, we had one family choose at the start of the year to do virtual uh, distance learning, if you will. We did that for a little while, but with the success of no issues, they chose to come back and we've had 100% attendance since then as far as the choice of doing traditional. With the traditional way of learning comes the high risk of spreading the virus as students are coming from different parts of the county, then to school. We have had a couple come in, you know, Mr. Hales, my throat hurts today and we have to honor it. It's one of the things on our questionnaire, so therefore that child goes home. As for the Octibaha Starkville School District, students were given three options of learning, traditional, virtual, and hybrid, but the hybrid model has now been left off the menu. Superintendent Eddie Pizant says several students have now leaned towards the traditional way. Each day our, our families are finding what works and what doesn't work, and, and because of, you know, when you've they found what's not working or is not working maybe for some of them. Many of them have decided that uh, the uh, traditional setting might be a better option for them. Pazan says teamwork between faculty and students is making this transition a bit easier. One of the things that we've tried to do is, is uh, schedule in some of our schools. Uh, they have brought in groups of students from virtual to traditional weekly on a on a Monday and so having that transition happen happening at a specified time uh, has been you know better for teachers it's still